Just so. Vietnam. 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 Just so Vietnam. Hello and welcome to Just So Vietnam, a Vietnam travel guide and a guide to the local life here. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to explore modern day Vietnam through the eyes of expats who call it home. Here's the headlines for today's show. Meet Sam in his segment of Just Ask with some tips for you when visiting local houses. Cheese is one among favorite types of food in Vietnam. Let's check where we can find locally made cheese in our segment of Just Try. And last but not least, a useful travel tip in Vietnam to end our show. And now, as usual, just ask Mr. Know-it-all Sam Patterson any questions about travel and life here in Vietnam. Sorry, you have to leave your shoes out. So, the first thing you need to know is that for Vietnamese people, it's polite to take your shoes off before you enter the house. As Vietnamese people often like to socialize while sitting on the floor and not in a chair, it's important that you leave your shoes out and keep the floors clean. You'll see an altar in almost every Vietnamese house. On some occasions, every home in Vietnam will have a tray filled with foods or fruits placed on the ancestral altar. Worshipping ancestors, an ancient Vietnamese tradition, is a ritual practice about paying tribute to deceased family members and reminding people of their roots. So, what about you? Have you learned anything unique while visiting local people here in Vietnam? Let us know your thoughts by getting in touch on Facebook or YouTube. I'll be back next episode with more. Cheese is a well-known dish that has a long history in Western countries, of course. And as somebody from the Netherlands, I can tell you, I love cheese but it has been increasingly favored in Vietnam as well in recent years. Diners now can even enjoy locally made cheese. Let's join our guest host, Devin Reed, to see where we can find it. There's one type of food that wouldn't be anything without this ingredient, and that food is pizza. At this restaurant, they make all of their cheeses in-house in Dalat. This is to ensure a unique flavor and absolute freshness. Many of restaurants in Vietnam serve their diners with imported cheese. However, homemade cheese using local ingredients is now offering cheese lovers with fresh yet creamy bites of cheese. Pizza Four Peas, a Japanese Italian pizza style brand, has been making its own cheese in Dalat City from local milk to deliver to its customers from farm to table. Opening its cheese making factory since 2011, the brand now produces about 400 servings of eight types of cheese every day. From burrata, mozzarella, camembert, blue cheese to raclette, scamorza, ricotta, and mascarpone.
This is a combination of Western meets Japanese, Japanese style cuisine. So, I'd like to talk to uh, the uh, co-manager here about it. And uh, yeah, so for this particular type of cheese, why did you guys start making your own type of cheese? We have our own cheese factory in the Dara City in the south of the Vietnam. And Dara City is the perfect place to make uh, cheese. Uh, it's easy to available the good quality milk. Uh, the taste is so rich and smooth and uh, freshly delivered to our cheese factory. Right. So in terms of this point, um, the Darat is a perfect place to make our, our own cheese. Yeah. And why is it, um, did you choose for a, a Japanese um, style of uh, cooking with these types of uh, different dishes? We are not, not aiming for just uh, focus on the particular Italian dishes and we input some hint of the, the Asian fusion uh, style. And uh, as you can see on the menu, you can see the many vari variety of pizza uh, from the or uh, original one, such as margarita, to the Asian fusion style like the sashimi pizza. It's going to be more uh, interesting. Everything that we have in front of us looks absolutely delicious. This is the caprese, and it's popular. And moving on to this dish here, I see that this is a type of fondue. What types of cheeses and, and what do we have here? Um, we're using uh, many, many variety of cheese for this sauce, uh, mainly from Camembert. And with this one here, so what type of pizza do we have here? Uh, yes, uh, here is the, our signature, right. and they're using burrata cheese. So after you know, you tell me about these, it makes me really curious to try it. Okay. So let's. I guess we could start with this one here. Dalat has been well known in Vietnam for its favorable weather conditions. This helps to grow a variety of good quality vegetables. The caprese salad at this restaurant is a combination of Dalat fresh tomato and homemade mozzarella. How does it taste, Devin? Mm -hmm. Sweetness, but also with the savoriness, with the nice olive oil. We have the basil and the cheese here. Very, I, very tasty. Yeah, yeah. I believe that you, you can feel the freshness from your first bite. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because there's lots of store-bought cheeses that don't quite have that yeah. quality to them, and the and the homemade stuff you could certainly taste the difference with. Yeah, it. the texture is very smooth. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. no, excellent. So moving on to this one here with the yep. fondue, you yeah. can dip here. Okay, uh, we can. Oh, it's we very don't hot. Have a, yeah, yeah, hopefully we don't <laughs> spill here. Okay, let's see. Just a nice. Okay, there yeah. we go. Oh wow. <laughs> That is, very, that is really good. Oh, very, 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 very good. good. Yeah, because how many cheeses are blended? In? This is a three cheese blender. Mm -hmm. Three cheeses. Yeah. Very, very delicious. Yeah. Nice salt and pepper on top. I'm uh, moving on to this one here. So yeah, let me try. <laughs> It's fresh, that's the main thing yes, about it. And the tongue right. is very nice and the consistency, <coughs> consistencies, yeah. especially with the doughs, the different meats. We do not uh, add any addictive mm. uh, to the cheese. Cheers, thank you so yeah, much for having you. me here. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah. Now, I want to share these simple but effective Vietnamese travel tips with you in this segment of Just Go. Hope that you too can dive right into the deep end and experience what this incredible country has to offer. Vietnam Airlines, the flag carrier of Vietnam, is to change its baggage allowance policy on all domestic flights and international flights since August 1st, 2019. Accordingly, the free baggage allowance will be determined by the number of pieces of luggage rather than the total amount of weight that a passenger can travel with. Passengers who have already purchased tickets before the effective date of the new policy are still eligible for the standard allowance indicated on their existing tickets. The change will unify Vietnam Airlines policy with many airlines around the world, thereby making it more convenient for passengers who have connecting flights with other airlines. And with that, we come to the end of this episode. Now, if you like this program, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to leave your comments on the VTV World fan page. I am Martijn and this is Just So Vietnam.